Brownsville, Texas. 3.15 p.m. Here in the southernmost city in Texas, stolen cars are often used to smuggle contraband. Our unit, Special Investigations Unit, consists of primarily auto theft and narcotics. A lot of our stolen vehicles do wind up illegally transporting the uh, narcotics, and vehicles do carry the currency back into Mexico. We need to conduct inspections at car lots, salvage yards, any place where vehicles are being used for export. Today's mission, investigate reports of vehicles involved in a suspected smuggling racket. Right now, we are arriving at one of the local businesses. This place is, besides a used car lot, is also a rental space for vehicles that are being exported into Mexico while they clear up their paperwork through immigration and customs. Torres and his team spot a vehicle with suspicious signs of tampering. We noticed that the tailgate was welded shut, which is not normal. We also noticed that the uh, bed liner, there was some work that was done to it. The screws themselves were not consistent with the bed liner. It's an older model, but when it comes to smuggling, it doesn't matter if it's a new or older, you know, it's being used. So we're gonna see what we can find. Officers take the truck to a secure customs and border protection lot for inspection. Depending on which uh, canine responds, some of us alert to narcotics, to currency, and also ammunition. At this point, we have no idea what can be hidden in there. She gave me alert to the vehicle. Good girl, that's a good girl, that's a good girl. With a positive alert from the canine, officers begin to search for the contraband. Yeah, you might want to make it look like they're a roofer, they're in construction, but something else is going on here. This is one of the things we noticed. The base of the liner is not flat as well as loose uh, bolts here. They're rather new, and they're not the proper uh, screw for this type of lining. different rounds of ammunition, different calibers as well as magazines. This is surprising, especially since they're loose. This is gonna be a good bust. This is obviously thousands of rounds. We're gonna be here a while trying to sort it all out. But just to give you an idea, it's thousands of rounds. I would say at least three inches deep. But there's, there's parts of it where it's, it's actually deeper. Some of them, I mean, you do have um, the 557, you got a nine mil, we do have some 45s, 38 special. I've also seen some 22 caliber ones, so there's numerous uh, calibers in here, mixed in here. It's gonna be a long process, but we are gonna have to take an actual accurate count. If it's round by round, it might take us a while, but it is necessary for a perfect count. It's an awesome feeling to be able to find something like this. But I think it should be pointed out that this is really nothing compared to what goes through. This is a small dent. I think there needs to be more 